avance pour la planète! On avance pour la planète! Montreal was ground zero of the Canada wide protest. No pipeline! No pipeline! There, three of the major party leaders joined the massive crowd. The Liberals Justin Trudeau, Green leader Elizabeth May, and Bloc Québécois Yves-François Blanchet. More than 200 marches took place across the country. From Halifax to here in Ottawa. No one does anything, then it's never just going to happen. To Regina. To Victoria, where NDP leader Jagmeet Singh participated. Globally, young people mobilized around climate action in 150 countries. From New Zealand, to Italy, to France, to the U.S. Capitol. One of the most powerful voices behind this movement is Swedish teen activist Greta Thunberg. Today she was in Montreal where she addressed the crowds and met with Liberal leader Justin Trudeau. I had the chance to sit down with a remarkable young person who's driving this conversation forward. We talked about the fact that in the face of this climate crisis, we must all do more. My message to all the politicians is the same, to just listen to to the science and act on the science. While speaking about that meeting, Trudeau announced a promise to plant two billion trees. He also faced questions, though, about his climate record as Prime Minister. He later marched in downtown Montreal with his wife and kids, where at one point officers tackled a protester and arrested that protester. The CBC's Salima Shivji was there. Salima? Vashi, Justin Trudeau has been working towards this moment all week, building towards it with climate policy announcement after climate policy announcement, preparing for this, marching with tens of thousands of others in the streets of Montreal, most of them young, all of them demanding more action on climate change, urging the world to panic and politicians to do way more. Trudeau's team was also working really hard to get him a meeting with the star of these climate strikes, 16-year-old Greta Thunberg. She said today that she said says, of course, Trudeau is not doing enough, nor are any politicians. Trudeau called the meeting wonderful. It was 15 minutes, and he says he is listening, except, of course, he got many questions, not only from reporters, but also protesters about his government's mixed record on climate and that pipeline that they bought. All together. We're worked all together. Hello, sir. Thank you for being here, sir. Sorry. A slogan is not enough, sir. Sir, every penny we're putting in. I know you're worried about the pipeline. I know you're worried about the climate. Thank you, sir, for your leadership. Now, that was a constant as he walked, surrounded by his Liberal team with his wife and two of his kids. One protester even lunged at the Liberal leader with eggs in hand before he was tackled by the RCMP. Now, earlier, Trudeau tried to shift the focus away from buying that pipeline to what he would do with the profits. And we made the decision that on the pipeline, all the profits will be invested in the fight against climate change because that's what Canadians expect. Now, Trudeau is, of course, hoping that Andrew Scheer's absence will be noticed at this loud protest here that fits right into the Liberals' messaging to convince voters that they are the ones to trust on climate, while Trudeau says Scheer and the Conservatives are running away from the fight against climate change. Vashi. Thanks, Salima. The CBC's Salima Shivji covering the Liberals this week for us. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, meanwhile, also joined today's climate protest, but he did so on the West Coast. It's a fight we're fighting for, right? Oh, hell yeah, it is. <laughs> we're going to fight it like we want to win it, too. Exactly. Yeah, it is. Is Singh participated in the climate rally in Victoria, where he met with some of the protesters earlier in the day. He slammed the Trudeau government for buying the TMX pipeline and promised more coastal protections if elected. The CBC's Ashley Burke reports. Vashi, well, Justin Trudeau has been in Montreal shaking hands with teen activist Greta Thunberg this morning. The NDP's leader, Jagmeet Singh, is here on Vancouver Island. He's in Victoria right now at this youth climate strike. And, you know, he's been talking all day about how Trudeau has been failing at youth, like the people here, and even Thunberg. It's obviously Greta's choice who she wants to meet with, but it's really clear that Mr. Trudeau promised really clearly in 2015 that he would not build the Trans Mountain, that he would oppose it. And then once he got into office, not only did he break that promise, he bought the pipeline 
and then approved its expansion the day after he declared a climate emergency. The New Democrats are also making a pitch to Island voters about why they should vote NDP and not Green. The Greens are, you know, are eyeing a big enough gains that they could win official, oh. could win official party status this election. Uh, and one of their best chances is here on Vancouver Island. So the NDP have really been focusing today on highlighting how their party is different. And a big thing Singh talks about is how, is about their environmental plan, but also about how it doesn't leave workers behind, he says, how it's focused on green jobs. And the other thing that the party is going to be trying to highlight right now is the fact that uh, Elizabeth May has wavered on her, on her stance on things like sovereignty and abortion, uh, and the NDP says his party doesn't do that. Singh will be holding another rally tonight in Victoria. Vashi? Thanks, Ashley. The CBC's Ashley Burke covering the NDP campaign for us this week. Conservative leader Andrew Scheer was also in B.C. today, but he did not attend any climate demonstrations. Instead, he made an announcement related to infrastructure. These are the kinds of projects that make a difference in people's lives by reducing gridlock and speeding up commute times, getting them home faster after a long day at work. Speaking in Coquitlam, B.C., Scheer promised to prioritize infrastructure projects that would reduce commuter times, but he was also pressured to explain why he skipped today's climate rallies. The CBC's Evan Dyer reports for us. Well, Vashi, most of the questions Andrew Scheer faced today, of course, were on climate change here in B.C. and Coquitlam. And even as he was speaking, in fact, we saw people boarding the SkyTrain just a block away with signs to go to the protest march, and we spoke to some of those protesters. Uh, we asked about Andrew Scheer. They said that they weren't surprised that he wouldn't be attending the march, but the same protesters also told us they weren't that impressed by the fact that Justin Trudeau did attend the march in Montreal. And in fact, one of the protesters uh, used almost exactly the same words that Andrew Scheer would use a few minutes later in his news conference when she said she didn't understand why the prime minister was protesting his own government in action. Anyway, B.C. is where the carbon tax began on the provincial level 2008, so it's been operating for about 11 years. Uh, and Andrew Scheer was asked about comments by one of his own candidates here in the neighboring riding of Pitt Meadows Maple Ridge, Mark Dalton, formerly a member of the B.C. legislature on the floor of the House here in B.C. just two years ago, extolling the carbon tax as a great success, both environmentally and economically. Andrew Scheer was asked about that. Uh, he repeated his party line, which is that the carbon tax is a cash grab that does not work to reduce emissions. He also began his comments, as a lot of the leaders often do, and as he does himself frequently, by citing the parliamentary budget officer on another matter. But there is a finding by the PBO that Andrew Scheer disputes, and that's his finding that 80 percent of Canadians who pay the federal carbon tax will receive more back in rebates than they pay. And Andrew Scheer on the campaign trail, though the carbon tax is constantly mentioned, doesn't talk about the rebate side of the ledger. Uh, so we asked him about that again today, and he said that he disputes that finding because the parliamentary budget officer was working with gov numbers given to him by the Liberal government, and he also says that he no longer believes anything that Justin Trudeau says. Vashi. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.